Hello everybody, Lutanos here. Welcome to my first look at Minecraft Dungeons, an action-adventure dungeon crawler based primarily off of the original Minecraft game by Mojang Studios. Um, this game is just now two days old. Uh, decided to make the purchase here and test it out. Seems like a really popular game already. Seems like something a lot of people are going to be interested in, especially if you are uh, interested in those dungeon crawler third person uh, games. It's kind of similar to, you know, Diablo 3 and things like that. Um, I have zero experience playing this game. I've only played Minecraft for about a week at most. Um, and I got a little bit uninterested in that. Um, so I am coming into this blind as much as you are. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. Alright, so like I said, this game is based off of Minecraft, so you're going to see that same aesthetic... Uh, throughout the entirety of this game. Um, this seems to be just a little bit of a tutorial uh, showing us what we can do in this game and how everything works. Oh, we got a zombie right here coming at us. Right, super, super straightforward tutorial right here telling you how to fight enemies and things like that. Um, I'm sure this won't be too terribly long, so you won't have to listen to me all that much. Oh, hello there. So it looks like emeralds our, uh, our currency here. Can I destroy that? No, I cannot. We've got three of them. Oh, so there are different kinds of attacks, too. That's good. Uh, can I do anything with these fires? Looks like no. Okay. Interesting. What's up this way? Defeat the invaders. Bundle of arrows. Okay. Looks like the right trigger is the button. For that. What goes back this way, though? That's what I wanted to check out. Looks like there's a fork in the road. Oh, nope, never mind. Looks like I can't go that way. Um, so the right trigger. Oh, and then you aim by moving the cursor around. Gotcha. Super, super straightforward. Shoot the skeleton. There we go. It's not too hard. Uh, now I am using an Xbox controller, but you can also use your keyboard and mouse if you prefer that avenue of gameplay. I usually do myself, but I figure this would be a little bit simpler. I've got a uh, fairly loud, clicky keyboard, so I figure I'll save your ears the trouble there. Okay, so the auto-aim is, is fairly straightforward. As long as you shoot in the, the correct general direction, it sh looks like it should be uh, able to hit them as long as there's not a wall or anything in the way. Oop. Hey there, buddy. The texture does look a little bit smoother in this compared to uh, the original one, unless you have, you know, RTX on or anything like that. With a... Ooh, hi, how are ya? Okay, so that was... scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... A lot better textures. Um, ooh, supplies. Open that up. Some more arrows and some bread. Okay. Little region there, so it looks like sort of a, a pseudo health potion that just helps you out while you're while you're playing a little bit. What does the RB do? Oh, it's a, it's a little dash right there to kind of get you ahead, but it looks like you slow down just a touch after you dash, uh, and once that regenerates, it looks like you get some of your sprint back. So that's good to know. It's really good to know. What do we have over here? Oh! Hi. Survive the ambush. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, so we've got some guys coming our way. That was the shortest ambush I have ever seen. Enchantment point earned. Every level up gives you an enchantment point, which are used to upgrade items. Open the inventory to try it out. Alright. 
select an item of your gear that you want to enchant. Okay. You can choose from randomized enchants for every item. Select one now. Let's see. Okay, so it's down in the bottom right. So, fire aspect. It sets mobs on fire for three seconds, dealing damage over time. Okay. What is this one? Find more emeralds on fallen enemies. Interesting. Can we upgrade our bow? Oh, looks like we can. Punch. Boost arrow pushback. Okay, so it's a, it's a knockback for your arrows. Interesting. Bonus shot. Firing a shot also fires a second shot at a nearby enemy. The second shot has reduced damage. Okay, so a little bit of crowd control right there. Uh, Multi-shot grants the chance to fire five arrows at once. Ooh, that's actually interesting. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for that damage over time. You know what? No, no, I lied. I am going to go for that bonus shot. I like that. I like the I like the arrow mechanics here. They're super straightforward, and it seems like something I can I can get behind. Let's see if this works. Oh, it did. That was fantastic. Fireworks arrow puts a fireworks arrow into your quiver. The arrow explodes on hit. Ooh, I like that. Artifact and inventory. You just picked up an artifact. Open the inventory to equip it. All right. Pick up the fireworks in the artifacts category to equip item. So I'll just hit A there. Okay, so I guess that's now in my equipment there. So let's go back. Now that the artifact is equipped, you can use it whenever you want. X, Y, and B. Oh, down on the bottom left. Gotcha. Um... I want to check this out, but I'm going to fire it on an enemy. I think I need to defeat the invaders. Where are my invaders? Oh, oops. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, so it's, uh... It looks like it has a cooldown on it, so it's kind of a permanent... Ooh, how do we get... Ooh, here we go. There's that right button. I like that. A little bit of uh, skill work right there. It's pretty nice. So yeah, that fireworks arrow does have a, a cooldown on it, so that's that's super nice. Whoop, you're dead. Gives you a little notification when you got that bonus shot, too. That's not bad. Just keeps you updated. Set up camp outside town. Got that arrow pointing me in the correct direction, it looks like. It's down this way. Nothing about this way. I know the arrow is at the top left, but I'm curious. I want to move around a little bit, see what's up. I hit nothing over here. Still nothing. I'm sure there's plenty to explore in further levels, so I won't, uh, hello? Hello? There we go. I won't take up too much of your time. Set up camp. You were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Okay, that was a, a neat little instance right there give you a little impression of uh, what to expect in further dungeons. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Projectiles hit, 94%. Chests open, 50%. So it looks like I missed a couple. Uh, took some damage, dealt some damage. And then what is this chest? Hello? Hit A. Fishing Rod, the trusted companion of any true adventurer. The fishing rod is useful for more than just fishing. Okay. Oh, and so now I've set up camp. Who are you? Hmm. Oh, so this is like home base now. Can check out any, uh... Oh, so I'm here on the Squid Coast. I guess the next logical step would be... Oh, the next only step is the Creeper Woods. Interesting. Okay. What's around this way? Who are you? Oh, you're a little scarecrow. See how much damage I can do. Interesting. 
So I just kind of made up uh, my own base. Hello there, Mr. Sheep. So now is this because I've reclaimed this land? Or is it because it was already here and it just kind of opens up for you? That's a, that's a question I've got. What is in here as well? Nice little inn, I guess. Not upstairs. Nothing up here, it looks like. Let's go back downstairs and right. Ooh. Okay, so you can't. There's no crafting apparently. That's interesting for a game that's built around crafting, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, what is with this step here? That's something I want to know. I can jump up here, but the step says no, thank you. Let's work on that, Mojang. Mojang, however you want to pronounce it. I don't even know. Okay, so that was, uh... Super, super cool. I think I'm going to like this game a lot, actually. And you know what? We may see a couple more instances, a couple more playthroughs of this game. I think, uh... I think this is one for me to continue playing after this first look. Especially if there's some more hidden features that I have yet to see. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in another video. See ya!